Hi everyone and welcome back to game two between Toph and Jane. Today Toph is on the right in blue playing as the second Panzer Grenadiers with those forward deployment troops and over on the left in red we have Jane Zerbers playing as the 8th Infantry Division. Obviously without any forward deployment troops so Toph will be getting to the front much quicker. Rocket attack jet coming in there not sure what that's going for early game. Won't be seeing a huge amount, perhaps brought in to deal with any choppers. I also see Jane bringing in a couple of commands very early again to grab those early points. Worked well in the last game. Will that happen again here, or will Toph manage to maintain a better control of the points? Due to not spending quite as much at the start. Certainly a good mix of units, some tanks, some infantry. Up at the top, mainly infantry at the moment few anti-air Fliegerfaust squads plenty of forward deployed Jaeger here it will take Jane a little while to arrive at the front lines that rocket attack jet still swinging round here there are some anti-air units coming in for Jane so it's going to be at risk very soon looks a good little unit with that uh, auto cannon on it not very far forward. It would be better right at the front, perhaps. Here we go. Some attacks going from that jet now, though they appeared to miss what they were going for. Engineers Flash have been evac'd from their vehicles. Again, I feel like that looks could have been better positioned up here and might have got some shots off on those units from the edge there. We can actually have a look at that. Yeah, it would have had line of sight, but it doesn't back here. But if it had been up at the edge, it would have been able to get shots off at those. Engineers flash coming in here as well. Jane very determined to clear out some of these buildings, bringing in lots of engineers flash. Dragons coming in here as well. Engineers dragon and the M113A3 dragons. So lots of anti-tank there. Jeopard here and a Leo 1A5. Alpha Jet HE dropped some bombs on the front here. Didn't manage to completely kill that squad. Will get out alive. What else is coming in? Two commands in for Toph as well to stop that early massive bonus that Jane got last game to those points. It will be a little bit tighter this time. Yeah, sitting around 400 by the looks of it. Marker going down there against the Pivads. Good spread of units, obviously Toph in a good position in the town right now with lots of units filling these buildings. Lots of units moving in here for Jane. Jane obviously be able to get a lot of fire down on these units walking through the town until again the buildings are becoming visible. But obviously one tank here would pose a big threat to those at close range, though they all have dragon missiles, so... That also poses a threat to any tanks that Toph can bring in. Looks like some artillery being called in at the back already. A Leo command tank being called in for that front point. Not a bad choice, a little bit more armor. No command for the top as yet. Any commands at the other side? Yes, there's a command coming in at the bottom here for Jane. I assume to put in the back of this point. Jane not in a terrible position here, though it has lost everything at this side. Ideally, needs to get in the town to truly hold this position. That applies to both players. Whoever holds the town is in the best position. This is good, but you can be pushed out of there. I mean, it's a small area. Heavy bombardment by artillery or bombers will cause issues. And there isn't a huge amount of air defense here. You've got the... Chaparral there, and I think there's a pivad somewhere else. Oh yeah, there's pivads there. Nothing in the front here. Rocket attack coming in again. I assume looked as if it was going to be going for this, but it's actually going for that there. Nice strike. We'll take fire from the pivads, but we'll get out okay. Jane does not have the epic air defense screen that he had available in the last game 
So chaparrales and pivads aren't the same as having all those cubs and stuff. It's it's not not as effective. And already we see Toph utilizing the artillery to kill any AA that appears. Good strike on there as well. Has cleared out this area. Command in here, but Toph is about to neutralize that as well. There it goes. So, commands at the top are the next thing. Who will be bringing one in first? Both players have capacity to put one in. Marker going down on... Jane is pulling the marker down at the back there. I assume thinking that's where the command is. Realistically, it's where the commander has ended up, but not where it entered the point. That's quite interesting. I wondered if that was a judgment call on where it might be, or a judgment call on where it was going. Jane, if you watch this, you'll have to let me know. I'm curious if that was a, you judge where it would be driving to, or you just assumed that that's where it came in. Artillery coming down on this area, as expected. You know, that's a good way to clear this forest, is just to keep it pinned down with artillery. Artillery in at the other side as well. Yes, there's an M109 there. Just the one, or is there two? Just one, I think. Just hitting that back area there. We'll stun the tank. We'll not do it a huge amount of damage unless it gets a direct hit on top. Jane making a push on the buildings here. This could be quite effective. Does still have some engineers flash there. It's taking a lot of fire from the Lux and the Leopard at the back there. And a cluster bomber coming in to deal with that Abrams tank. And that will... Oh, I thought it was going to escape for a second, but it didn't. The jet is out intact again. The air defences just aren't as good for the 8th Infantry. They're not bad, but they're not perfect. Leopard smoked itself over. Hasn't actually taken any damage. Is in a good position. I think that's the one that's been there for a while and is repaired. There's one here, sorry, actually, as well. That could be a reinforcement one that's come in. Artillery coming down immediately on that chaparral after it fired. Cobra coming in there to try and do some damage to these tanks. Will be reasonably effective. Though that one doesn't have any anti-tank missiles. It has not got an eye to on it. So it will be just relying on the rockets to stun. Will certainly do the damage and has killed it. The rockets aren't bad. Don't underestimate them. Rocket attack jet coming in, I assume, to... I was going to say, it's either to go for the chopper or it's going to kill that. It also got a shot off at the chopper. It is dead, though. Chaparral got it. Chaparral was marked but has been moved. Looks coming in there to engage that chopper. Chopper still had a few rockets left, though. Unfortunately, Jane's push there has failed. Toph has held. Seed coming in there to go for the Jeopard. Unfortunately, did not get any hits. Seed does struggle a bit in this game still. Tornado coming in here. Was brought in, I think, to deal with the jet, but is swinging back round. Will take fire from the Chaparral. And will evac. Artillery firing again. Probably on this here, to guess. Going by the trajectory. It hasn't actually moved, so it's, yeah, at risk. Very few units in here now for Jane. Reinforcements are on the way, though. A lot more available to Toph. I could see Toph at some point doing a push. Also, plenty of reinforcements coming in at the top for Toph. Quite a solid position for both players. Toes here. Anti-tank there as well. It's going to be a, a challenge for whoever pushes at the top there. They will need an overwhelming force. Down here, it does feel as though it is in Toph's favour. Toph making a push now into that forested area. Marker just went down on those scouts at the top there. And I hear a jet coming in. In a funny position down the bottom. I think it's going for the chopper around the back there. That's just a scout chopper. Toph with a reasonable push going here. 
looks proving very useful leopard with fire support there as well engineers there and engineers flash engineers flash pose very little threat to vehicles obviously oh jet came and did some damage but did immediately get shot down two markers down on those anti-air units though jane needs to keep them moving looks coming in there to deal with the flash but there are some at4 squads appearing now so they will be able to kill that looks pretty easily command has however been killed the job has been done is now plus two to toff very little aa on the side of toff at the moment I think the seed plane finally got a kill on the leopard that was there. Very good push by Toph. Very good push. Good number of forces. Good focus firing down the right units that needed to die. Very nice push, Toph. Can't fault that at all. Yeah, you get Alfkull pushing right around the back for Toph there as well. Doing some damage. Taking quite a bit of fire from this now, though. It does have Panzer Force shots left, so I'm surprised it's not gone in to get the kill. I assume it's just probing. Command coming in there, plus four currently to Toph. But it, yeah, another command coming in for the bottom as well. But I do feel like Toph is in a good position right now, holding this quite well. Mortars being used to bombard this area, but I feel like Toph is in a nice position. Currently holding the top. But we'll need to eventually deal with all of this here because there is a command coming in. Obviously you can rely on the artillery. That artillery hasn't really moved since the start of the game. So there's not really any counter battery going on from the side of... You see, I say that and now I see some artillery going very far. And is it that Jane has just decided to do some counter battery? I think that might be the case, you know. This does appear to... Yeah, this is artillery hitting that artillery. Great minds think alike. I'm not sure whether it'll get a kill. Good strike, that one. Got a good hit. And that one. I think if two had been firing at it, I think they would have got the kill. I think they would have got the kill. If you'd had two in there, Jane, I think you would have got the kill. So the map is in a bit of a funny position right now. I think Toph has the advantage. Has pushed Jane all the way back to here. So we're not seeing a proper fight over Alpha at the moment. Toph has pushed Jane right back. I do notice a few units coming down here. I mean, ideally we'd like to get in there, but there is a M40 recall this rifle there. Artillery once again going in on these guys. Still with a chance of getting a kill. Got a nice strike on that one. Nice. Got a kill. Very nice. Good counter battery. I think there's still only the one artillery piece in there for Jane. Up at the top of the map, not a huge amount of change at all for either player. Neither player bringing in a huge amount of units. There are quite a lot coming in now for Jane. I think Jane has realised that attacked need to change. I think Jane has realised that 
he needs to change tactics. It's going to be very difficult to push back in the bottom. Is trying to push in through this bottom bit a good choice? At least you've got a bit of cover there and aren't facing off against that entire front line wall there. But obviously bringing in a lot of units up here in hope to push across Echo and take that. Because if Jane can take Echo, then at least they've got a point in the middle each. Some decent air defense in now for Toph as well. Remains plus four for Toph. Obviously very difficult to put a command in the bottom point alpha for Jane right now. Lots of M48 tanks there. Some M60s here. Zishirungs in here obviously aren't going to be any use against these tanks. And the engineers will make very short work of them. Constant mortifier going down on here. There's not really anything there. I mean, other than this here, these three tanks and the Leopard, which is now fully ranked up, could steamroll this stuff here. I mean, there is nothing there to stop them. Obviously, Toft doesn't realise this. Great. Cluster coming in here, aiming to go for these guys. Might get at least one kill. Could get very lucky and kill the CV as well. Oh, didn't even get one kill. You know, that CV for me should have been dead. It does... I mean... The little dots end there. But the blast radius on the smoke and everything looks huge compared to the actual drop. Has managed to kill one of them with the second strike though. Did lose the jet. More artillery coming in for Toph. Still just one in for Jane right now. Lots of forces building up here for Jane. If Jane does a good push here, it will put the game back on hold to some extent. Has managed to get a command in here. Oh, that M40 is going to get a side shot potentially on this tank. Did it miss? I think it missed. Something got the kill there. I don't know if it was the tank or the Marder or what. That was firing, but I didn't see it fire. Like, I didn't see a tracer or anything go from it. That was weird. CV being pulled out of there. Artillery along here. Another cluster coming in there. Jane needs to make a move at the top, realistically. As there's a push coming at the bottom. I mean, Toph could push all the way into the back point. It is perfectly reasonable for that to happen. Seed coming in again. We'll be wanting to hit those eye hawks. One shot, two shots. One is dead. We'll get out alive as well. Toph in very strong position really in this point now. It's going to be very hard to dislodge Toph. Without a huge force, which I just don't think is going to happen. There are just, well, 21 and a half minutes just under to go in this game. And at the moment, Toph is way ahead in points. And even neutralizing, which isn't going to happen right now, it's still going to be plus two to Toph. I think Toph is going to win on points before the time is out. Artillery going in on that command, but the command is moving out of the way of the artillery. Two artillery pieces in now for Jane, of course. Toph with a couple of artillery pieces there. And one at the back as well. Lots of aircraft. Toph making good use of aircraft in this game. Obviously, the air defense at the other side is rather limited. So, you know, pivads aren't bad and chaparrales aren't bad, but... You need a lot of them to provide the same kind of air cover you would get from better anti-air units. Artillery fire against that there. Some counter battery from Toff side. Good strike, good kill. Cluster coming in here, going for this back point. And a rocket attack coming in here. 
Good kill on that. Chaparral is out of ammo. Toph will have free reign on attacking this area now. Though needs to be careful about going over the center because there are a few pivads. Mark is going down on those pivads. That one actually took some fire and was briefly stunned. More Ihawks coming in there. I think this is now going to be a challenge for poor Jane. Jane needs to push the top sooner or later. Because the command is dead, I guess. I'm not sure how Toff's commander died there. He was running away from that artillery, but it is dead. Artillery in on that pivot. Very good use of artillery from both players, in particular Toff. But Jane needs to control this point because there will be another command. Yeah, command tank coming in. And Toff is pushing. As expected, he might. He is making a move on this back point. Obviously, there are some mech rifles there, but realistically... There's a... Oh. What's the range on that tank? I don't think it can shoot far enough to hit those trees. I feel like these tanks need to move up with this infantry. To help provide fire support against these mech rifles, because they've only got laws, so the range isn't that good if we check it. There you go. 675 meters. So these tanks could provide some very good fire support there. Some engineers coming in to try and deal with this infantry. But these tanks will provide great fire support against all those units. Up at the top, some smoke gone down here. A Leo 2A3 in position at the front, though. Has smoked itself and is retreating. And yeah, jet in there for Toff. Toff getting that artillery firing again. Not sure on what this time. Possibly on more AA. And possibly going on this one here. Yep, yeah, nice strikes there. Jaeger Alfkull pushing across here, but is getting shot by units up there. Lots of smoke going down here while these units advance, but that Leo 2A3 is going to absolutely mince that vehicle. Marker going down up here on that CV. It has been spotted by the Jaeger. We can expect some artillery coming in imminently on that command vehicle. Good push going on here. These units have gone straight past the Mech Rifle's Law. Mech Rifle's Law will be able to deal a serious amount of damage to these tanks when they get spotted. Obviously Toph going for this point, trying to get the kill on that command there. 17 minutes left to go. Toff in a very strong position right now in the grand scheme of things. Is being pushed back in this point. That Leopard has taken damage. There's a Leopard command tank coming in but will hold outside the point I think. That command still in position. Hasn't been shot at yet. I think this will be the time to attack now or the cluster's going for it. Either way. I think this is a cluster strike against it. Getting the instant kill. Yeah, cluster strike. That will do the job. There it goes. Back to plus two for Toff. HE Bomber came in here to drop on these guys. Has unfortunately missed as the units have moved around. Jane trying to reinforce this point now while also pushing units into the top. Toff has air superiority right now, has control of the air, in a very good position. Artillery dropping on the pivads at the back again. Really good use of artillery from Toff to take out all of this anti-air to allow those tornadoes and everything else and bombers to be sort of have a free reign within reason. Obviously it's not the be all and the end all but it is really really helping. Toff has held this side of the point. Jane has not managed to get across and has lost a lot of units. And that also was a lot of red cluster there. Command tank brought in by Toff. Toff is even letting it fire, I think. Lots of reinforcements arriving there for Toff as well, including some more tanks. 
I think it, this game is certainly swinging rapidly towards a win for Toph. It's not quite the extended battle for Alpha that we had in the previous match. So I think this is going to be a one-all draw at the end of the day. Very impressed by Toph's artillery use. Has been very, very effective at taking out air defences in this game. And sometimes that's a decision you've got to make in these games is what are you going to focus on with your artillery? Air defense and then you can bring in your jets. It's a good choice. Or you could go for sniping ZVs. But then you're not going to be killing the air defense to bring in your jets. So it's a balancing act. And I think that Toph got a good balance on here. Currently plus four to Toph. Those points ticking up rapidly now. Fourteen minutes left of this game, and I I really can't see a way that Jane can bring this back. There's just so many units coming in at the top there, to the point Toff is actually doing his own push at the top. CV back in the corner, drops it to plus two, but Toff is so far out ahead. Couple of tanks moving in down the bottom there for Jane, but there's Milan's in position to fire at them as they come across. That tank's dead. The M1A1 is going to survive because nothing's firing at it yet, but it's about to come in range of all those M48s, and those M48s will be at a reasonable distance to get some good shots off. Yeah, it's within 1,000 meters, so they will all be able to do penetration damage to that tank. Not a huge amount, as you can see. So the tank will win. Oh, the, the Abrams tank will win, I should say, sorry. But it's taken a lot of damage. It's taken a lot of damage there. Command is already dead in that corner. Back to plus four. Four Toff. Really good effort by Jane to make a comeback in this game by pushing the top. But unfortunately, Toff was just in too strong of a defensive position. But really well played, guys. Thoroughly enjoyed both of these games. I think you've both played exceptionally well. And the back and forth in Alpha in the last game was, you know, top level stuff. Really enjoyed that. And this game, I've seen some really good artillery use from both of you. But Toff just edged it out with the artillery and jets. Doing a really fantastic job. And Toff being quite an aggressive player here. Keeping the pushes going at every point in the map. Not really sitting still. There's the surrender. Commiserations Jane. Well done Toff. Really good game. Obviously a very significant difference in kills to losses there. Which is unsurprising the way the game was going. Let's see what stood out there. The Lux. The Leopard. The Jaeger. The Rocket Attack. The Artillery. Lots of units getting quite a few kills here. Marder doing a really good job. Milan doing a good job. Leopard getting lots of kills. Tornado RDS did a good job. On the other side, obviously, less so. A couple of tanks getting some kills. Thunderbolt did a very good job as well. Well played to both of you. And I think you both there deserve that one all draw because you both played so well. Thanks everyone for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon for some more Warno from the Warno League Season 0.